was talking to a friend and then he was like, okay, your solution for, um, for the A5100 um, to flash, you know, um, an off-camera flash works, but outdoors he was having problems. Um, which is expected because, you know, outdoors you have so much light. So I told him, you know what, why don't we get your flash uh, this one doesn't have a camera, so uh, a, a card. I'm sorry, um, but you know, put it back to to whatever it was before. Um, and flash compensation to nothing. Um, okay, so the flash compensation is to nothing but let's create something to trigger it. So I had an idea and I'm like, okay, let me buy uh, one of these. I don't know if you can see this. It's uh, basically an optical trigger. And then <laughs> using just cardboard, I use uh, a sleeve from Tim Hortons. I created like a little uh, block. So you can see I just fold it and then um, I put enough, let me take this one out. I just folded it. Um, I just folded it and then put the um, the optical trigger side in here, and then left room for this and for this in case you wanna um, put it somewhere later. But um, and then I connected my transmitter that I have is a Cowboy Studio, a simple one. $30 or anything I pay in Amazon or something like that. Um, put it in place. All right. And then I'm using a flash. Now this will work with any manual flash, of course. So you set it in manual. Right now I have it, you know, not full power or anything. And then you turn on the transmitter. Uh, let's make sure that this fl is flashing. You saw that probably. All right, so this is ready to be flashed. Now, how do I flash it? Um, as like last time, um, it is best if you put the camera in manual mode. So make sure that you put the camera in manual mode. Um, and then, um, a good setting to start, you know, again, I'm going to start at 1 of a second, which is my fastest speed. Um, I'm going to, I can do right now ISO 100. And then my, um, my aperture, I'm going to set it at, I don't know, 5. Again, it doesn't matter really. Um, now, the idea is that when I take the picture, it's almost dark. You see how dark it is? My exposure is going to be super dark um, without a flash, which is great. Which means that all the exposure is going to be with the with the uh, off-camera flash is going to be the one triggering. So I open the flash. Of course, immediately brings it up, knowing that it's going to bring you know enough light. Um, then what you do is you just put this on. You basically you know slide it in. Um, hopefully you can see this. Again, this is just a, a, a prototype and something super simple. Um, and because it has some weight and I made it very fitted, you know, it, it will not be falling and actually will be pushing your, your flash to the back. You see how it looks? Now, that's the funniest part. Um, I'm gonna trigger it now because if you see, um, every time I trigger the flash, you saw the real little red light there. You saw the and you saw that it transmit. It already flashed the other one because it's transmitting. You know from here, so so I can actually use this as an off-camera flash, stand it somewhere, you know, and then take a picture if I wanted to, you know. 
You see, I can get um, the flash exposing, and I can be creative and create, you know, all type of camera, different camera angles and settings. Um, again, let me do a quick. Again, it doesn't have a. Uh, but I want you to see. You see how it's flashing? I can move my off-camera flash. Let me put the light there. And it's a little too hot, but again, I'm triggering it wirelessly. So this, in theory, should work better outside. Um, I have not tried properly, but you can see that it's kind of bright outside. Um, again, I'm not using the optical slave. Um, you know, I'm using it in manual mode, and and I'm just using, you know, the the trigger. You know, this trigger, as you can see. You know because I have the receiver. So this could be something that you can set up for yours. Um, I think I paid for this $12 or something like that on Amazon. And then, you know, and now I have the possibility to actually shoot off camera uh, using a receiver, of course. Uh, it, it's, again, a prototype, it just fell off. Uh, it's not perfect, it's just a piece of cardboard that I put together. Um, but I think on the buying it can actually kill me, you know, to shoot, you know, off camera flash and, and that'll be super great. Um, I can get proper exposures, I can be creative, you know. Um, <laughs> I keep sliding forward. Um, I can be creative. Now, I'm trying to look for a way to like avoid that little fall and I was thinking to use maybe Velcro. Uh, but I just wanted to let you know that if with a little bit of uh, idea you can actually come with a solution um, to actually have this, you know, working. Uh, maybe if I, I'm putting it upside down now, so the weight, you know, won't push as much um, and still should work. You know, you see? You see? It's working. Uh, and it's exposing the way I want it to expose. Um, again, I'm using the flash of the camera is flashing, but that is giving, triggering the optical slave, which in, in turn is triggering my wireless transmitter, which in turn it's, um, it's also triggering this one. Now, another use that I found for this, and this time it didn't fall because of the position, um, that I think is great, is that you can actually for the flash mode you can use it also for uh, a slow sync or rear sync um, which I think is great so if I want to shoot something at smaller speeds um, or slower speeds I'm sorry Let's do two seconds. Showing me it's gonna be way too bright. Let's open the aperture, there you go. 25, I think it'll be fine. And you can see, flash something, but it flash at the end too. So it can be creative with that. So, as you can see, there are many uses that you can give the camera, um, that you can give the camera now, um, especially now because you have the opportunity to use it, you know, with an off, off camera flash. So again, I hope this is helpful. This is a little hack. It, it's not super pretty. Again, I'm, I'm trying to come up with a better uh, design. Actually, this way works a little better um, with this over here. So the weight, you know, doesn't allow it to fall. But of course, it will be here in the barrel of your lens. Um, but at least it's working. So again, hopefully this makes sense. Uh, if you have any questions, you know to um, contact me. You know how to contact me in my YouTube website. Uh, or send me a private message and I'll be more than happy to help, okay? Thank you again and have a great day.